Welcome to the Don Serious Show. From thought-provoking discussions on current affairs to deep dives into the worldly landscape, the Don Serious Show covers it all. Each episode is a tapestry of diverse topics designed to enlighten, entertain, and expand your thinking. Welcome to the Don Series Show. I'm your host, Don Series. I'm here with a special guest. His name is Marty Meach. He's out of the Chicago area. We're here to enlighten you, and I want you to enjoy his presence. I'm happy to have him on the show. Thank you for joining. I would like for you to hit the like button, subscribe, turn on the bell so you can get a notification when I have a show for you to watch. So let's check him out. I'm going to bring him up. Thank you for joining us. And don't forget to drop some comments because we're here for the algorithm and the analytics. And we're here to enlighten you once again. What's up, Mr. Marty Meach? Big Don. How you be, baby? Hey, I'm here, man. I'm glad to have you on the show. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I see you got that Batman on, man. I like that Batman. I'm Batman. Yeah, I'm Batman once I found out Superman got his ass whooped by Batman. Who wants to hey, get in the ass whooped by? Wasn't it? Yeah, by a fucking mortal, and you, you're you not a mortal. Like, nah, nah, I don't fuck with Superman no more, you know what I'm saying? Even though, on a side note, because I do these side notes, Superman is actually uh, uh, his... Oh, wow, look at that. I didn't know they could do that. But anyway, Superman, they got that whole Superman thing from the, uh, the DNA of a black man, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, black people love the sun. We need the sun. So Superman needs the sun. And let's not go into all his attributes. And then, like, they also let you know what they think of other humans because he's, like, acting like he's inferior when he's got the glasses on. So, you know, Superman came from a black person. Let's just leave it at that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so what's what's good, man? Oh, nothing much, man. Just chilling, man. Home with the family. Maxing and relaxing. You know what I mean? Oh, that's what's up, man. Like, family is always good, man. Other people don't get to appreciate that shit. But yeah. that's a good thing. Yeah. Yes, sir. Blessing so, to have you for sure. I'm uh, very grateful that you came on here. I've been knowing you for many, many moons and many, many suns yeah. in rotation. And uh, I'm happy to even have you on the show and you be a part of my show. I'm very grateful. Yes, sir. Yeah, appreciate it, man. I um, was excited to hear about the show and uh, excited to participate. And um, the 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 best part about it is I get to, you know what I'm saying, hop on here, speak with my friend about real conversations that we normally have, but being able to bring it to the masses. Nice. You're, you, you are 100% accurate. And uh, I like the fact that I created this platform and show because we are intelligent human beings and we have a lot to share with the world. And I like the fact that this platform allows me to get the opportunity to enlighten people, share knowledge and experience, and hopefully it will help somebody. Uh, the topic was going to be the benefits of a woman's love. Oh, I know a lot of niggas are going to be out here on some sucker hating ass nigga shit, but who gives a fuck, nigga? You're going to be old and lonely as fuck. Cool. Nigga, I ain't trying to go that fucking route, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I understand some people were like raised and born in an environment and certain things or whatever, but man, let's get to the motherfucking topic. The benefit of a woman's love, man. May Marty Meach speak first because he's very intelligent and has a lot of experience and ups and downs. And I would like to hear your perspective, sir. Oh, man. The benefits of a woman's love um, yeah. is uh, something that is uh, uh, a, a new lesson that I learned, uh, I would say, in the past maybe Four years, five years, um, coming all the way up until now, uh, I was able to. I'm able to look back and see the benefits of a, of a real woman's love, uh, and it's um, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. The motivation, the strength, the awareness that a woman's love could provide to you just because a man we definitely used to chasing women all this if you that type of dude you know what i'm saying you holler at women um uh, but we 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 
have one woman and when we have one woman now we still have to do our chase and pursuit and everything but now it's just of you and that's and, and if you have a woman that loves you it's going to be fun to do that <laughs> <laughs> yeah man it's going to um, be real fun to chase her every day you know what i'm saying in a great way because you like, you know what I'm saying? If it was a female that you worked with or something and you was trying to get to know her, holler and that thing, you would give yeah. her a little time and attention and all that. But the same thing that you did to get her is the same thing you need to keep doing to keep her. So okay. make sure you play the situation correctly and take your time because a woman is delicate. And if she given going to the extent of actually opening her heart and allowing you to come in and, and look around, <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Look then, around and like pretty nice in here you know you know but but if she goes to the extent of doing that then you have to make sure that you're doing the correct things to keep that woman because um i always uh say when i was young or remember when i was young that and i was raised by my father so i was like man i know that a man could raise a man to be a man but a man can't show a man how to be a man for a woman. Okay. It would take it it would take for that woman to show that man how to be the man for her. Yeah, but that's important to me right there, that part what you just said right there. Yeah. Yeah. She gotta know how to do that though and wanna and wanna and have the want to do that for that man. But if she ain't got the want desire to do that, then she ain't gonna do that. And she just, you know what I'm saying? going through the motions and if you a man that's looking for a woman that isn't going through the motions and looking for a man to hold her down and be there and y'all build something together if y'all on the same frequency then it's gonna work if y'all not then it's, it's not it's gonna be some friction and you wonder why you have some friction <laughs> yeah you get pressure bust pipes you know what i'm saying if it's too much pressure you know what i mean it ain't gonna it ain't gonna work you know what i mean if it's just two different agendas you know yeah, like, I like that like she want to love you and you want to love 52 other females and and wonder why she cussing your ass out. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with you on that, man. I mean, you know, especially if y'all on the same frequency, man, it's a beautiful yeah. thing, bro. It's actually marvelous. You know, fuck that wonderful. It's marvelous. Um, I speak from her experience. Truthfully. Yeah, man. Um, when you said a woman, uh, if she's willing to uh, show you and teach you how, I'm going to use the word teach you how to enlighten you on how to love her and everything. Is that, did I get that part right? Did I get it right? Yeah, correctly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the uh, key ingredient for me as well, because in the past I've dated other women and uh, they expected me to know what they like, what they want and everything. I don't know what went on each woman's mind or head, but uh, when you actually bump into the right one and the chemistry, the frequency, the vibration, the magic, the mysticism, everything is like there. It becomes like really easy, fun. As you say, you still continue to chase her. It becomes fun because this person or this woman rather is taking time with you to uh, enlighten you about what makes her happy, what makes her sad, what makes her feel like a queen, what her dreams are, what her ambitions are. And it allows you to focus on the cat and mouse chase fun part and build this camaraderie and friendship. And like where you and her can enjoy life, laugh together, and also talking about building together and, observe action more than words am i on track with this man hey you tracking you dead on track and what and what is one of the main benefits with all of that that you said as far as what you're giving her and chasing her and that thing what is one main benefit that you receive let me give some serious thought but not think too hard what are the main benefits that i me why? Out of, what you, out of what you just said, out of everything yeah. that you said that she was giving you, what do I receive? I don't know. I, I mean, I don't. The same thing that you giving her. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes same a lot of thing sense because because she. I just look at it like that's happiness for me. Say what? 
I look at it like that's happiness for me because uh, that's the only reason why it is working because it's a it's a, a, a circulating thing. It's revolving. It's a uh, reciprocating. It's equal or uh, equally yoked experience with the woman, the benefits of a woman uh, that you love, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all want the same thing. You know, she want to see you. She wants you to be happy. You want her to be happy. You know what I'm saying? So as long as you doing your job to make her happy, she going to be on her job to make you happy. And when you had that communication and, and that open line of communication to say, Hey, it was something that had happened earlier that I didn't necessarily like. I wanted to talk about it as opposed yeah. to going straight to cussing them out or being upset with them or whatever. You know, you are going to have those emotions where you immediately get upset or whatever the case may be. But that's when you got to check yourself. Like, man, this person loves me. I love them. So let me not come at them in a disrespectful way because if they got upset, they entitled to get upset too. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want for them to come at me recklessly. You know what I'm saying? So I would, I, I got to practice what I preach. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, and see, let's see where I can, you know, lead with this without doing the ands and ums. So, what yeah, I'm, I'm, working, I'm working on that as well, for sure. Uh, I was just watching a little video with the ands and ums. I'm like, man, I mean, yeah. it's, the, it's the pause. You, remember, I was telling you about pause. the little try to attempt to, to pause when you get ready to say the and the um. And I didn't say it and um 12 times already. What do you think I'm doing? You think I'm doing well? Oh. Fantastic, brother. Fantastic. Cause you cause you in your zone and you focused, but you focus on something that is natural for you, which is this new love that you're in. Very new and exciting, which I love the feeling, and I'm very happy. Full stop. Full stop. On the real. Yeah. That's all it is. On the real. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> yeah, man. for real so one thing i noticed from this experience and i definitely do not want it to vanish or relinquish i do want to improve and continue to work positively positively towards the betterment of both of us together as one yes yeah. i enjoy this so where i'm going with this is that i've noticed that when I'm around other women or I hear them uh, uh, ranting and raving or using foul words, they seem a little bit harsh. When you led to that part about the woman is going to show you uh, how she wants to be loved, I've noticed from my experience that when they open themselves up because they care about you, they really uh, respecting you, they trust you and believe in you, then another door opens up. And then they teach you some things that you as a man and your father or the many like cannot show you from a woman's perspective. And one thing I learned is that a lot of women that, you know, want to be loved and a lot of men that want to be loved, the women are going to try to educate you on how to allow them to get into their femininity, their soft side, because a lot of times they've been through a lot of different relationships or by themselves and everything is on them. And they don't have the ability to just be soft because they got to worry about rent, car note, Electric bill, utility bill, cell phone bill. If they got a pet, they got to figure out how to get the pet food. They got a job they got to go to. They got to answer to another boss. They got to be on time. They got a lot of things going on. And at the same time, they still got their feminine things going on like this. Menstrual, the cycle, the hair. They want to look nice. They want to get their nails Emotions done. Emotions and shit. They going uh, emotions. through 77 yeah, yeah, yeah. times in a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So a lot of cats out there, man, as dudes, they like really overlook this stuff. And some of them are not even built to be with a woman like the women, that, you know, where we could benefit from their love. And yeah. when they allow us into their life and they educate us on this thing, then we start to realize, like, you know what? It ain't a simp to like be, you know, doing these things for your woman or the woman you love or the woman you married to. It's actually your responsibility as a man and your role as a man to do these things so you can allow your woman to be in her feminine energy because she she educated me by saying if a woman can get in their feminine energy and be soft there's no limit to what her man can have in this world and i see that now i'm experiencing it now because i had confidence without a woman i believed in myself without a woman 
But when this woman came into my life, I have another whole level of energy I'm I'm gaining. I can come on this show with like no worries or I can say whatever the fuck I want to say, not worry about fuck you bitches. I don't give a fuck about you hoes. Like I was like, I, I really like don't think about you. Like I'm not chasing you. I don't need you. And they can sense that, bro. And also when I'm talking to other women and I, they rowdy, I'm able to tone them down a little bit because I'm like, you need a hug. And oh, no, I don't like you need a way of channel releasing your energy because I used to do a lot of talking in the relationship. But now, man, I understand that they want you to listen to them. You educated me on this whole listening thing, man. And they love that whole if you listening and paying them attention, it's allowing them to release a lot of stress, man. And that gets them closer to their feminine side of life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, um, <clears throat> the way the way that my wife termed it was in the category of security. Like, OK, she would say, like, I don't feel secure. I don't feel secure. I'm like, well, ain't nobody finna come in. This like I bust somebody like I, like anybody coming in here ain't nothing to happen. Like, you know, what I'm saying? like I got you on the security side. But yeah. she was talking about emotional security where she would feel comfortable coming and speaking and saying, hey, this is how I feel about what you did. And I'm not telling you, I'm saying it emotionally and everything like that, but I'm not telling you for you to tell me why you not, you didn't do it or, you know what I'm saying? Or you meant to do it this way or this or that, whatever. Like I'm telling you so that we could work on the problem or so you can address directly what I'm telling you happened. To me, and what you how it how it affected me. Okay, it, okay. It affected me. Yes. Like you got a book on me. Help me get the book off before you say, "Oh, I was digging in my nose." No, help me get the goddamn book off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. Okay. And then we'll be like, okay, now you can say sorry for that and everything like that. But first, help me get this shit off. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, I'm tracking. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, man. Um, man, what are some of the benefits of a woman's love then? What do you think? Um, her admiration of you. You know, your your woman admires you. She she looks at you and and like back to the Batman Superman shit. Like, nigga, she look at you like you Superman. Okay. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, shade against Superman. Fuck. I mean, <laughs> uh, man, yeah, man. no goddamn Superman. I yeah, Superman. I know. I mean, like, I go get yeah. That man. <laughs> yeah. I use my motherfucking smarts on your ass. But at the same time, the admiration. Yeah. Like, man, I would think like one of the benefits of a woman love is like, man, the respect, man, that she give you, bro. I, I, I'm, I'm from the old school, man. Respect go a long way, and I don't think you have to earn somebody respect because you wouldn't disrespect a baby. I just feel like you only lose respect for a person once they cross the line and they don't respect you. And a lot of people in relationships, they don't get that respect from their woman, man, because I don't think the guy or either the girl, I don't know anything about these couples I'm talking about. This is hypothetically speaking. I don't know what's going on with them, but they're not giving each other that that mutual respect toward each other. So that's definitely a benefit in my eye from a woman's love is respect, man. Respect, man, give you internal power, man. You can go face a lot of things knowing that you got just that one important person in your corner that respect you uh, unconditionally, maybe. Uh, that's a word that you put together, unconditional respect. I don't know. But, man, respect is a strong thing for me, man. What's another one to you, man? Um, well, I, I'll piggyback off of the respect thing. So one of the, because uh, as you, you, you know, like the different women that you have interactions with, relationships with and everything, you see like, hey, I like this. Hey, I don't like that. Hey, I like this. Hey, I really don't like that. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, I don't want to fuck with that part. Like, you know, hell no, nah, nigga. I'm straight. I don't. So want you that. know, so moving forward, the next female that you talk to, you like, all right, yeah, 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 yeah
Yeah, yeah, like that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay, cool. Okay, you checking that list off pretty good. What's happening? You know what I'm saying? So what I um what I paid attention to with my wife that made her stand out um in my in my mind, because I was a chaser, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. there's all gazelles out here, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, yeah. It's, it's look a little different or whatever. Modified yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit. You know they say all gazelles. It's all like gazelles. <laughs> you know, yeah, so I catch one, I got it. You know, <laughs> one got a bigger, one of them got a bigger BBL than the other one, but it's still a gazelle. You know, <laughs> like I, you no, know, no, I, no, I ain't man. No, them BBLs want some money. No, nah, I know that. I'm just joking, man. Like, I'm well, cool. I, basically, Thanks. I'm just saying oh, some of them got bigger butts than other ones, but they all gazelles. Yeah, 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 yeah. some of them. Just, Add on, add on uh, asses, but yeah. Anyway, man, like don't, don't like ignore me. I'm just, you know, like continue, sir, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> yeah. Beach. So, what what stood out to me was that when she got upset with me, it wasn't the normal black woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we, can, we can go to. Yeah. yeah, you know, so I, 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 that, that, that stood out to me. I was like, man, I did this before with other females and made and made them upset and all this type of stuff and anything like that. Yeah, but her reaction is different. Like, you know, she had, she wasn't from my city or nothing like that. Like, she was from another state and everything, so she ain't yeah, had yeah. a mannerism, demeanor, mindset, attitude, outlook, you know what I'm saying, as a female that I was used to dealing with and that thing. But that didn't, you know what I'm saying, I didn't deal with females like that before, but when it came to how she treated me when things were good, that was amazing, you know what I'm saying, and I also reciprocated that as well. But when she got up, would get upset with me because I'm just a knucklehead, you know, and yeah. when she would get upset with me, the way that she would address what she's upset with me about wasn't, I got to call you out your name and demean you while I'm telling you what pissed me off. You know what I'm saying? She would just tell me, hey, this is what pissed me off. You know, she might be raising her voice a little bit or emotional and anything like that, but it's none of the demeaningness. Of yeah, my that character. Meaning is, yeah. You that's know what I'm like, saying? So that's a lack of respect. Boom. So that's, that's what stood out as far as respect. Like, dang, she respect me even when she's upset. Hold on, let's see if I can Google something right quick. Because I used to work at this place called Big Lots before I got into driving trucks, right? Yeah. And uh everybody knows like some kind of biblical verses here and there. But uh, there was this deacon, man, and he he used to really educate me on certain things and like related to life. And one thing um, about that whole deme demeaning you and all that uh, is that in the Bible, they speak many different times about, you know, words is like worse than actually like, hitting somebody. You know what I mean? Because it, it, it hits harder or whatever. And there's a verse in there, something about this thing that you put in the horse's mouth. And that's how you steer the horse with the thing in its mouth. So basically, he was just saying, "What well, come out your mouth can actually even steer you a person." So you know, to uh, be harsh with words with you, that, that doesn't show like a lot of respect for that person you care about them or you supposed to care about them, and that could uh, scar a man for a long time, possibly life, depending on how much he has love for the woman. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah, I like the fact that you uh, came from that perspective about uh, respect, because that definitely makes or breaks a relationship. And I don't sense that being uh, love. And that shows that your um, wife truly loves you in my perspective, in my point of view, or from my eyes, uh, observing you and your wife, because I've been knowing you and your wife since y'all got married. And that's amazing, though, because I don't want to say it's a black woman thing, but uh, we probably have more experience with our own ethnicity. And mm -hmm. we see it a lot now and more in 2024 versus like, like the eighties or whatever, or the nineties. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we didn't see that a lot, and so it's not nobody trying to bash their own women or their own uh, ethnic group. It's just more prevalent now. This goes on because I came from the hood or the ghetto, and I have property in the hood and ghetto, so I'm still surrounded by that type of environment. And I go to 
like McDonald's for coffee or whatever in the hood or whatever. And I just see it a lot. You know what I'm saying? They supposed to be together, especially when I was in Philly driving trucks. I mean, like, bro, I saw a couple in the car, man. I'm walking from Wawa. If anybody knows what the Wawa is, and you can hear them clean coming out the car, man. Ooh, like, man. I'm like, yeah, man, going at it, man. I thought somebody was going to die. They was going at it so much. And I was like, man, that's really bad. But, you know, so I, I get it. And so, well, so I guess we're taking turns. And what's another benefit of a, a woman's love, man? Another benefit. What's a good one, man? Um, um, she she make love to you better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, I I don't know if it's you that told me this or somebody else. Maybe my sister, but it's better to be giving some love than be asking for some love. You know what I mean? <laughs> It, it hit different. That was as definitely they say. supposed to say that. Yeah, yeah, it hit different. Yeah, yeah. You want some uh, willingly yeah. love, or you want to like ask for some love, and they like, come on. I mean, yeah, that ain't the same, bro. That ain't the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. ah, yeah, ah no. come on, hurry up, <laughs> <laughs> hurry up. Oh, come on, two pump Charlie. I remember you a two pump Charlie. Now you trying to get five pumps, boy? Stop. Hey, I'm going to tell you what the benefits love, uh, the benefit of a woman's love is that from my perspective, I love art and I look at a woman's body as a canvas, like art. So mm-hmm. I think it's a, it's a fucking beautiful thing that created, made it. So it's, to me, it's beautiful. And so the benefit of a woman's love is when she opened up her, her self, yeah, oh, herself <laughs> to you. You can take your time and you can yeah. just explore from head to toe some women might watch this shit and get wet just from how i'm expressing this i it's not for you you gotta find your own guy that likes the canvas you know yeah 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 he might not have paper and even if the woman feels like she's not that canvas or that beautiful art that you see that reassurance of explaining her, like, look, I love what I see. I just want to do some really nice things, slow paced, all kinds of things. I'm not gonna get into details because, man, I have a woman trying to probably blow my fucking comment section up. Where you at? I, I got a woman already. It's not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? But that's the benefits of a woman love to me is, man, yeah. that she's so open to you and she's allowing you to love her the way that you want to love her and also that she is receptive to that kind of love and if there's something she don't like, she communicate it to you so you can correct it instead of thinking, you know, I'm going to do it my way or whatever. Because in the past, I've I've been stubborn. I'm a tourist. So I don't technically live by the Zodiac, but, you know, I am as a person. I could be stubborn. But, man, when you have the right woman and the love is there, one of those benefits is that whole communication, man. And you explain to me that your wife communicates to you something you might have done wrong or whatever. So, you know, it's kind of like they're all going to hand in hand, the communication, the respect, the admiration, and, oh, man, the energy you get from being in love or the energy you get from a woman that loves you, bro, and you love her back, man. Yeah, like the the, the feeling that you get when you're not with them. Yes, like I'm not around you, but your energy and your love is still emitting up off of me or coming on. You know what I'm saying? Man, my um, sister, she's a nurse. She said them women, them other women, can smell it on us, man. They, they, yeah, man, they can smell it on them like some. She's like, she's like, she's like, no, nah, it's a word. I don't want to get into all that medical science, but she said it's uh, scientifically proven that them other women, like your like, pheromones, that word, yes pheromones and confidence you know what i mean and all of the above man yeah like bro i, I had confidence without a woman man but shh, man it's a beautiful thing man when a woman loves you bro i ain't gonna even yeah run, man. and appreciate and, you man. yeah man. appreciate you, man. i think all that is love though because my co-host she said love is action i wish we can get her on here because didn't she say something about love is action whatever you know but anyway so yeah she wants somebody Give her a couple of hours and get on. Yeah, with it. No, <laughs> he ain't gonna spend no time. She just gonna get get the cash. I was like, appreciate it. <laughs> Bro, I think action is when your woman give you attention and she's there and she just sometimes just stand on the phone with you, communicating with you since y'all separated. Like I drive a truck, so I can't be around all the time. So like 
just her holding the phone, man. Even if she's on that motherfucker doing some other shit, she laughs and she'll share it with me. The fact, like, sometimes I be thinking, like, oh, she want to get off the phone. And one time she was like, oh, was you trying to get rid of me off the phone? I was like, no, no. Like, oh, like, bro, when a woman wants to be around you, man, that's a beautiful thing, man. Like, when she is gravitating towards you and she wants to be connected to you, like, almost at the hip, I know some men, like, that's too clingy, but um, I don't think that's too clingy, man. I think clingy is like, you know, this motherfucker want to always hold your hand and you don't, you know, I don't know, man, but it's a beautiful thing, bro. I, I, I can't break it down no more than that. I'm probably saying, ah, oh, and uh, but <laughs> shh, man, the benefits of a woman's love is like infinity. You could come up with a thousand things, man. It's just yeah, the chemistry sure. got to be right. Yeah. The chemistry yeah, definitely got to be right. Yeah, yeah, but you know, uh, me and you, we we cut from a different cloth. Uh, we don't be like too much into uh, theology and things like that because uh, I think we like evidence and we like scientific evidence and we like proof, and yeah. the proof is in the pudding. And so, of course, we know uh, sound is real, atoms, protons, and neutrons is real because we've proven that already. We know frequency is real because every sound has a sound wave and we know there's different frequencies in the, uh, in the uh, frequency zone with the Hertz or whatever. So, and we know the earth resonates a certain frequency. We know the body resonates a certain frequency. So when your significant other, when you and her or he and her are vibrating at the same frequency, it is a whole nother level connection and love you're going to receive. So I think a lot of people that are having this turmoil, they're not resonating at the same frequency. And when the universe, and I bring up universe because me and you understand that's how things truly work. The universe is mathematical. And when the universe connects you with that balance of the yin and the yang, and that one circle keeps spinning in unison, and y'all circulating the energy, and bro, y'all could build and destroy together. Not destroy each other, but y'all could build together and y'all could destroy some shit to get in your way in y'all way together. You know what I mean? You can't yeah. stop them. You can't separate them. You're not going to get in between them. Even if they disagree, sometimes they're going to look at the enemy or the op. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they're going to laugh. And they're going to laugh at the They're going to laugh at the op. Yeah. yeah. And tack them together. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Then get That's, back a the That's a benefit. That's a benefit. Yeah, and get back, <laughs> yeah, get back in the car and whatever. Like, yeah, you get on my nerve. Yeah, I love you too, motherfucker. But yeah, whatever. And then ten minutes later, y'all see some shit together and laughing again. But that that's, bro. Before we end this show, one thing my sister brought up, man, that that is lacking in today's society. She said we need to get back to courtship, man. What do you think about that? Um, definitely because that's where that that that's where the respect and the boundaries will be built. Yeah, I agree with that. She said that uh, sometimes people get in these relationships and then they get to sleeping together real quick, quick like. And she uh, stated that when you start having sex with somebody premature before the courtship, she acknowledged that you will make excuses and brush off the things you cannot stand or like because the sex is good. Do you agree? Absolutely. As people going through turmoil now. From the aspect of the sex is good, but then also from the aspect of the sex is good, and they don't want to take nobody else to have it. You know what I'm saying? So I can understand get, that. I can. People get very upset that their significant other, the person that they really want to be with, but can't help but argue with all the time and disagree all the time because they think that that person don't want to be with them, and the person is telling them, "I want to be with you" or whatever, but their actions may speak something different. It could be a thousand different other things, but what it all boils down to is if a person loves you and cares for you, they will tr attempt to work on doing better to you and for you, but you have to do that first to see change in them. You can't change. You can't see change in somebody else. If you don't change yourself, you want to see change in somebody else, change yourself first. And then you'll see. Yeah, the I agree with that. For. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, one of my exes, uh, she tried to make a full circle back around me to me, and when we were younger, um, 
it was definitely mainly about the sex. I mean, the sex was great, but man, did that woman used to get on my fucking nerve, bro. Like badly, badly. You actually met her, bro, when we was um in Columbus when we was younger. And uh uh she had uh invited me to a birthday many, many years ago to meet her in Vegas. And uh on the first night, man, like the, the camaraderie was not there, man. And like I hadn't moved into a different spiritual realm. I wasn't into the things I was into when I was in my late twenties. And she approached me as if I was the same guy back then. And you're supposed to change every five years, naturally speaking, you know, like rather be yeah. physically, mentally or whatever. And I realized that her physicality changed, but her mindset was the same. And I was like, Oh wow. You know? And no, me and her were not clicking on the same frequency then and then definitely not when we were younger together. And yeah, it just wasn't there. I think the sex uh, made me ignore a lot of red flags. And as we got uh, deeper into relationship back then, it was like, man, she had trust issues. She, you know, you know, I was doing the music pretty much full time. So she used to make statements like, oh, no woman can't come over here while I'm at work and record. I'm like, what, what the woman going to pay me? She's going to come over here. So, like, there was like, <laughs> Like, <laughs> yeah, you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I'm like, is she gonna pay me? She gonna come over here? Like, you can't trust me. Like, man, I've been like with you for over a year now. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna turn no money down. Like, cause you think I'm a smasher, and you know, truthfully, I'm gonna be honest. I'm on camera. There's a ninety percent chance I wouldn't smash, but the ten percent was like only if I really thought I could get away with it and not be known but i knew she was going to give me a pure headache so it wasn't like i was going to cheat on her it was more like i don't want to cheat on her because of the headache not because of the love and it was a lot of red flags things i overlooked and as we start we 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 moved in together in germany we left germany came to the united states lived together and man we didn't do no courtship and that makes a big difference man oh man no courtship at all at all we would courtship them after the fact you know what i mean and the only yeah. way we can resolve problems is fucking you know what i mean yeah like, arr, 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 arr. well you want to fuck get to okay <laughs> yeah get to that shit get it uh, then we watch a little movie and shit smoke a little weed think we all kosher and think we come mm. and maybe by the end of the night we back at it arr, 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 arr. i'm like nigga this is stressful bro this is not no motherfucking love. What the <laughs> fuck is this? This is stressful as fuck, man. I can't fuck with this, bro. How do I get rid of this nigga? Like, damn, she fine, though. Like, ah, fuck, man. And then if I try to separate myself, I'm like, I go somewhere else and I walk the door. Hey! And my mind's like, what the fuck is you doing over here for me? How the fuck you find me, nigga? Like, how the fuck, bro? Hey, I'm like, my dude, my dude. I, I was like disappointed that she broke up with me because, yes, yeah, she broke up with me. And maybe I was like in my feelings at the time back then. I didn't even say that shit in your feelings. You know what I mean? I was like, how this motherfucker going to break up with me? It's like because she found out I cheated on her, you know, like, the co-worker and shit. I'm just exposing all the fucking beans on the Dunn series show. We didn't got away from the benefits of the, uh, a woman's love, but we going to make that full circle in a minute. But anyway, yeah, there was a chick that worked in the motherfucker uh, staples with me. I, and when my ex watched this, she going to know I'm talking about her because I'm putting out too much information, but I don't give a fuck. Anyway, so this, she used to pick me up in my own Honda Court. Remember that Honda Court I had, man? 100%. Yeah, yeah, man. I used to work at this staples and shit in Columbus, and it was this yellow bone named some, 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 and she was in nursing school, mm -hmm. and she... She knew I was dating her because she seen my ex picking me up all the fucking time. And she just kept being resilient. It's just coming after me, coming after me. So real true story. Fuck it, it's a done serious show. We're we, we going to let it all out. So when my ex was at work one day and I was actually getting to know her even better, the, the one I cheated with or whatever, maybe I shouldn't tell this fucking story, bro. I'm thinking about this shit. <laughs> hey, when I was younger, though, let's put it out there anyway. I invited her to the studio, smashed her and shit on the floor and shit, carpet burn knees type vibe, you know, anyway. And after that, 
the next day, the next time my ex came to pick me up, I came <laughs> trotting out the motherfucker when they let us off work. You know, it was closed store time, closing. And I ran to the motherfucking car shit because I ain't want the bitch I was working with to say anything to me. So I'm thinking like, hey, but that's how you know I ain't going to cheat on my motherfucking one because my actions give my motherfucking ass away. All away immediately. Time. Immediately. And that nigga was like, why you run to the car? Like, what are you talking about? Like, you don't never run to the car. Why you, you ain't never car? run to the car? Yes, you never in my pattern. life. Yeah, 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 the same yeah, pattern. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. The, the pattern give it away. Then when you break yeah, the pattern, yeah, it's like man, straight guilt, straight guilty conscience, like a motherfucker, bro. That's why I'm red. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm arguing with the motherfucker. Like, man, I just decided to ride to the mother, walk to the. I mean, run to the car, nigga. I'm gonna get off work. I've been in the bitch all day. Woo, woo, woo. She figured it out though. She figured it out. And then she's like, I gotta go. And y'all won't believe that nigga. <laughs> Fucking next fucking boyfriend. His name was Tyrone. He called Tyrone. <laughs> yeah, my nigga. I can't believe that shit. God rest his soul, cause he passed away later on and shit. And I'm gonna tell you where it hurt hard for me. That's why, man. I'm happy I got the woman in my life. I went through a lot of challenges, experience. So fuck it. You know what happened? The most part, but fucked up is I got kicked out the fucking army for smoking weed, and they had this call center where you can call long distance. And I got on the phone and called a Germany, called this motherfucker boohoo crying about, oh, I'm about to get kicked out. And she's like, I really can't talk. I'm like, why not? She's like, he's here. I said, hold the fuck up. Tyrone is in Germany. She's like, yeah. How the fuck he get to Germany? I flew him over here. I hung on the fucking phone. I was like, nigga, we ain't never doing no full circle. So when that nigga came back around, revenge is bittersweet. <laughs> Hell no, nah, I ain't fucking you. Very For what? Funny. Hell yeah, I ain't fucking you. Like, no. Bye. <laughs> he's here. He's here. Yeah, like, what you mean he's here? Like, he's here in Germany. Like, he's in Tyrone? Like, yeah. <laughs> I say, damn, man. When the universe really want to stick it to you and jug it to you good and give you that karma, bro. Hey, twist that shit, Karma is a motherfucker. That's why I ain't like, babe, if you're watching this episode, Best believe you got one solid nigga on your side. Oh my mama. I learned my fucking lesson. Yeah, man. But um back to that benefit of uh the the benefit of a woman's love, man. Bro, I think we could talk about this shit on and on, man, because man, I like the fact that man, the benefit of a woman's love is man, happiness, bro. Man, uh happiness and also joy, man. And now I, I was always told to not allow anything or anyone destroy your joy because if you with the wrong woman and you break up it could uh disrupt you a little bit depending on how strong and how weak you are but uh you shouldn't let, allow anybody to destroy your joy but the benefit of a woman's love man is that extreme uh, infinite amount of like consistent joy and happiness that is always there even man when y'all upset with each other man you can look to that woman man and you could ask for help and assistance on things that all them other average women they're not gonna do that for you they're not gonna do it yeah. you be in the middle of an argument and ask her for a sandwich and y'all keep arguing after that she love you yeah yeah she love you that's the she will feed you even when she upset and she ain't gonna try to poison you she ain't gonna try to give you upset nah. stomach yeah nah. she might rub a little bleach on it but you be all right yeah you yeah. might can't get no cootie cat that night but you know you know that's your cootie cat you know what i mean you just gotta let her Ain't gonna um, be nobody else. Yeah, really? yeah, you ain't got. That's a benefit of the woman's love too. Like, man, you ain't got to worry about, bro. Me and my sister had this conversation because I'm not gonna. I don't know about you, bro, but um, there's a lot of people out there in relationship, man. That woman out there sharing that cootie cat, man. They got that commute, that community uh, coochie. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, I don't get down with that. That that's easy. <laughs> yeah, that community coochie, nigga. This ain't car. This ain't no email we talking about neither. I don't <laughs> like sharing. <laughs> I don't like sharing, bro. Hey, if you gonna give your coochie up, you might well gonna stay over there where you at. I don't even want to fuck bro. Hey, tell them they can keep it. Hey, yeah, man, it's not community over here. That is a <laughs> that is a close caption coochie, like CCC. You know what I mean? Because she didn't closely captured your ass, and she belonged to you now, sir. Yeah, we went from CC to CCC coochie. You know what I mean? Hey, yeah. she belongs to y'all. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Like you and the motherfucking uh microscopic <laughs> shit you use with the thing you look down, and that look like a virus. Like it is probably most likely because he got it, she got it from him. Shit, it didn't come from hey. me. I don't want that shit. On the real. Hey, nigga, get that cute cut in your dick 
Hey, 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 fam, you supposed to be grabbing my nuts too. Hey, <laughs> man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man, for real, man. I don't want to go to prison, man. So that's why, hey, why I got your mouth right so one. close, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? What the fuck, bro? What's that? What's that lumpy white shit going on down there? I don't that don't look that don't look kind of right, you know what I mean? Yeah, on the real. They didn't to? get that Nestle Crunch bar. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what you been up to, man? Yeah, the white Nestle Crunch Bar. For real. Like, why you keep going back and forth to the clinic a lot lately? You know what oh, I mean? Man. Like, some ain't some ain't popping off right. But see, that's the thing about reality and uh life, man. Bro, you can be the slickest motherfucker on planet Earth, man. But eventually, man, if you're not uh treating your woman right and you're not doing the right thing, it will definitely fall apart and show. So but you guess what, man? When you got the benefit of a woman's love, man, you don't want to do that shit, bro. I don't exactly. know. You do not exactly. want to do that. That ain't, the, that ain't the stuff that you motivated by. That ain't the stuff that intrigues you. Yeah. No, you, man. When you, when you, know, you, <clears throat> you be motivated to do things for you and your lady, you know? So, because you're, you're planning to be like, okay, well, me and her going to do this. Me and her going to do this. We going to do this. We going to do that. So, do and, you enjoy you the planning more? You, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Too, I love, man. I love making making plans, and she don't necessarily know about this or whatever. I can surprise her, and you know, what I'm saying too, make it make it fun and kind of drop little hints or this or that or whatever, you know. Yeah, but, me too. <clears throat> but also um, make sure that that woman uh, love you through thick and thin, you know. So life's gonna take you through the thick and thin. You ain't got to worry about trying to create. But y'all hear that? Experience. Y'all hear life that part? Gonna, life gonna go ahead and take you up and down. So just hold on tight. And know that they still in that other seat, and they ain't gonna move from that seat. So you ain't got to keep looking over there, cause you know they gonna be there. Love gang gang, you know what I mean? <laughs> cause look, I'm new to this, but I'm about to be true to this. So we gonna come back some some months down the road, and some more months down the road. We gonna see where I'm at. I'm very excited. I think I will prevail. I'm very positive, and I have reassurance. My man, uh, that direction will make sure also that I don't fuck up. You On know? the rip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't have any worries about him having to not allow me to um do this dumb shit or nothing because bro. Oh no, you gonna stand you gonna you gonna stay on the right track because you enjoying what you're doing and <laughs> and and love the, the challenge of it and everything because it's it's a lot that you're receiving back. So you like man I'm trying to pour into her but she she pouring back into me. I'm like damn I like getting pulled on but shit I want to pull on you but you know, and it's just a back and forth. You know, and it's an yeah, enjoyable so. thing when it's somebody that wanna do that with you and it's a stranger that you ain't never met before or anything and y'all ain't grew up together or they ain't know your mama too well or this or that or whatever. Like it's a complete stranger. So it's just that much more genuine because they're doing it and you know that they don't have to. Exactly. And so any women and men out here watching this episode, check it out. Let's start with the women first. Women always go first. Or, you know, whether it's uh, 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 what's that, what is it? What's, what's the word? Chivalry. Yes. I know that a lot of people think chivalry is dead, but look, women, let me let y'all know something. There's going to be a man out there and he is definitely going to hear you out and he's going to build with you and he's going to allow you to be the woman you want to be and allow you to be soft relieve you a lot of the pressure that the world is throwing at us because we as Americans, this thing started out wrong and it probably will end wrong. But I do believe that if you listen to this episode, just when you meet the right guy, you know, work on a little bit of courtship. I mean, you might like to get your freak on, but make him earn it. And if he's the right guy for you, he will do all the right things. He will do everything correct. Every now and then he might slip up a little bit, but that doesn't give you the right to just get ready and get rid of him because, man, is that man going to be awesome for you. And men, when you bump into the right woman and she is allowing you into her world and she's uh, communicating with you, she's telling you the smallest things to most largest things to her, her aspirations, man, be there for that woman, man, because she's going to make you into an awesome dude. You're already an awesome dude already, but she going to make sure that you are going to be a walking God, literally, you're going to, yeah, because that is how the universe works. You cannot have left without right and right without left. I have these cameras doing it. You can't have up without down, and you cannot have a child without 
a woman and a woman can have a child without a man. But of course, you know, we're not going to get into all that because I know we can go to the lab. <laughs> <laughs> but in the most natural, nature ish, uh, how nature really works, men, you know what I'm saying? When you meet that right woman, you'll know because you're not going to have to do too much work to gain her attention. She's going to want to keep the attention. Yeah, and yeah. Keep the attention. Yeah, yeah. Any, anything that you're saying, no matter if it's something that they're interested in or they're not interested in, even if it's something that they want to hear or they don't want to hear, they're going to listen to it because you're saying it. So, yeah. and, it's, and it's like you, you've you been talking for five minutes, and for three and a half minutes, everything you've been saying been over their head or just something that they don't mess with or know about or intrigued about or this or that or whatever, but they were just listening to you. Because it's you. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, I, I've experienced that many times already. That's a fact. But the fact that they still remain is even better. Because in my past, they ain't paying no attention. And they get off the phone. And they're not responding right away with texts. Or they're not communicating what they've been doing for the day. They're not excited to tell you anything about the day. Even if they have a bad day, the one for you is going to vent her bad day to you. And it's not going to come off as like... You're bringing me down. It's going to be like you are her outsource. You are her relief. And yeah. it's, and you're going to be educated and smart enough to know how to release that back into the universe because there's a positive and a negative side to uh, math and uh, science and the universe. And so you're going to know what to do with that and you're going to know what to expose it. And then you're going to bring her back some positive energy and then she's going to turn around and give you back some positive energy. And when it's time for you to vent, she's going to be there. She's going to allow you to vent. She's going to go know what to do with that energy. She's going to go take it somewhere else. She's going to get rid of it. And it's just going to rinse and wash circulating type of thing, man. That's the best way I can explain it. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. So, man, we're going to have to wrap this thing up, man. You you, you know what I got to do. Everybody got to know what I got to do now because I got to get off this motherfucking podcast. You know, I got to make this phone call, bro. All right, dog. I'm going to go and chill out with my lady, with my wife. And uh, enjoy our, our night. And you have a good night as well, brother. Appreciate the invite to the podcast. Yeah, uh, man. Uh, let's see if I can hear the show rocking and rolling yeah, real man. good. And uh, people are going to enjoy the episodes, the episodes, the episodes with the heart and passion and, and genuineness that you provide. They're going to love it. So I love Thanks. it and love to be on here. And we got big things we doing. So. Y'all look forward to it. We rocking. Facts, man. So, like, check this out. This is the Don Series Show. Thank you, Marty Meach, for coming on. I would like for you to hit the like button, the subscription button, the subscribe. And we're going to go live one day. But until we build this fan base up, this core audience, come join us on the Don Series Show. Thank you for being here. Drop a comment. Help the algorithm. Help the analytics. And we appreciate it. Hey, man, let's hit this motherfucking end. The Don Serious Show 